When building an Excel worksheet uh, using uh, mathematical functions, Excel follows the normal order of mathematical operations, parentheses, then exponents, multiplication, division, finally followed by addition and subtraction. Uh, in building your formula, I suggest you try to build it in parts. Start off with very easy parts. For instance, for our formula for the present value of annuity, let's go ahead and begin with simply the 1 plus r to the n. So equals the quantity 1 plus r. And again, we're always going to come back to row 9. So we're going to want to anchor the row reference. So a dollar sign in front of the 9, parenthesis, and then to the first power. And we're always going to want to come back to column A, so we're going to want to anchor the A dollar sign in front of the A. Then you can go ahead and hit enter. And we've done the first part of our operation. Next go in, we can just simply edit that. And notice in front of that, we can put um, our interest rate times that. So we'll just uh, equals, we'll click on our interest rate. Again, we want to always come back to that row. So we will anchor the 9, um, but not the B. And we'll have multiply it. Now we've essentially got the bottom part of that second uh, fraction. We can go now and go in and put equals and put a 1 divided by and we'll put a parenthesis behind everything else. Now we've finished the second part of our term and all we need to do is go in and put the first part. So we go to the beginning of our equation equals 1 divided by um, there's our interest rate. Again we want to anchor the reference to the row 9, so put the dollar sign in the front of the 9, and then finally subtract the rest of our formula. And we can go ahead and hit enter, and now we can drag that all the way down and drag it across. So again, in building your Excel formulas, do them in steps um, and break them into parts, and you'll find that's a whole lot easier than trying to do the whole formula at once.